Hello everyone, my name is Mariane Neiva, PhD in Computer Science, and this is my first English video here in this channel. Today we're going to explore a little bit about the hospital information system from the public health system in Brazil. I hope you guys like this first tutorial in English and subscribe to this channel, comment what you want to see next. Let's go to the tutorial. So first things first, we need to set up our environment. Here we're going to use PySys, which it's easier to download the data. With that installed, we are ready to fetch our data. Here is an example. In this case, we are interested in to download data set from state of Acre in 2008 and month of June. When we are downloading data from SIH, we have to inform our desired state, year, and month. We need the download and we need the parquet to data frame. This is because the first function that downloads the information but returns as an output the name of the file that contains the parquet information. And then we can use two uh, data frame parquets to data frame to convert this file to a data frame. So here using AC as the abbreviation for, for Acre, the year and six, and we are going to pass these three parameters to download and then to convert the file information to data frame. Okay, so we have a data frame here when we run this, this part of the code, and now we can explore a little bit of the data. So using head, we have the first five rows, and we can see here an overview of the information. We have the, the code of the state, the year, the month, other information regarding the hospital, the number of the admission, and also we can use tail to show the last five rows. So here we also have 10 random rows of this data frame. And we can see here also that this data frame has 86 columns, okay? So if you want to check all the name of the columns, we can use columns.values from the data frame. And we can check here the name of the all columns in this data frame. So if you want to get or retrieve the information on, co on columns and data types from this da data frame, we can use the function info that is going to give us the number of known values, uh, the type of the column. And as you can see here, the, num the type of columns in this data frame mostly is a uh, string and you can see here all the information all the columns and as a data scientist we put a lot of effort into transforming our data into something that is better for our development for for our understanding if we check for new values in this data frame it's going to be totally complete However, we have to replace all the empty strings here for a uh, new value to re actually be able to understand the number of spaces in the, the data frame. To do this, we're impo importing the NumPy library and we are placing all the empty strings to num values. And because we want to understand the types of cause of deaths in Acre in 2008 and in June, I can show you here the function unique, the unique values of these columns. Here we can see the num value that we replaced the empty string, and uh, the following information is regarding ICD causes of death. And here we can see that we have um, a list of 45 different values, uh, but if we, we use the unique function into this column, we can see that we have 44 unique values besides the known value, okay? So it's a different way to check how many values, different values we have in this column. If you want to see the frequency of each unique value, we can use value counts. You can also check the, the frequencies of each unique value, and we can see that I-64 is the major cause of death 
regarding this, this year, this state, and this month. We can then cross the information with the ICD-10 codes, and this is a stroke. So the major cause of death in Acre in 2008 in June is a stroke. And from this, uh, we can also improve the visualization of this information. And instead of having this table visualization, we can use the histogram to plot the main causes of deaths. Using the Plotly library, we can use the histogram. And here I'm updating the, uh, the x-axis to sort the values in a descending order. I show you the picture of this information. I have here the same information. So I-64 regards to the main cause of uh, deaths. If I if I want to show the, the text, the text auto equals to true, help me to see the number here. So eight causes of death, uh, cause it by stroke, and then we can check later the other information. Okay, this is how we can download information from uh, hospital admissions from the Brazilian public health system. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and if you want more, in, more tutorials like this, please comment below, subscribe to this channel, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.